Good evening. The next topic we're covering in uh, DAD 220 is joins. And uh, joins can be tricky. They can be a stumbling block uh, for people who've never seen them. So I wanted to go through another uh, kind of walkthrough uh, of a sample database and just do a little bit of querying using joins, um, using table aliasing, and uh, just kind of walk you through uh, some of these topics. And hopefully this will help um, you know, solidify this stuff and not make uh, this topic potentially so daunting. So I've got a, a script here that I can distribute. Uh, this is also part of an announcement. Um, but this script is essentially doing two things. It's creating a teacher's table and a class's table number one, and then it's populating that data. So we've got teachers, we've got classes. And a couple things to note here is that the classes table has a field for teacher. And in other, uh, in other database layouts, you know, we, we'll, you, we could use a third table as an intersection table to show where teachers and classes intersect. But that doesn't really make sense. It's a little overkill um, because a class can ever only have one teacher in, in this example. So we don't really need a third table. We can just make it uh, in this teacher field a, a you know a, a column on the ta on the classes table itself. So here are four teachers. Sorry about the Star Wars examples. Um, Han Solo, Princess Leia, Kylo Ren, and Chewbacca. And then here are five classes, political science, computer science, philosophy, math, chemistry, and their corresponding teachers. So a couple things to take note of. Uh, Chewbacca, number four, is not assigned a class. So he is currently an unassigned, a classless teacher. And conversely, math and chemistry are classes who that do not yet have a teacher assigned to them, which is signified by this null here. So that's what we've got going on in this sample database. Uh, I'm going to fire up a terminal, run my SQL, and source school. So that's that. Everything ran. doesn't look like it errored. Um, let me look at teachers first. So there is the teacher data. And then select star from classes. Okay. And there's the class data. 